Hey, what's up, Bitcoin? Are you there? Hello? Well, it's, it's kind of going to sleep, but I'm still blockchain positive. Hi everyone, this is once again Yagu Brahimov and today I want to talk about why my friend over here Bitcoin is falling asleep and hey Goldman, it's because of you, stop freaking manipulating the market. We don't really need institutionals having any kind of trading desk. We don't really need Goldman to have a cryptocurrency trading desk. It has zero meaning, zero value, no need for you Goldman bloody sacks. We don't need you. So just to make it clear for you guys and for me as well, cryptos literally went skyrocketing last year without any institutional involvement. So when we are talking about institutions being necessity or necessary in order for cryptos to progress and develop blah blah we are actually talking quite a nonsense in fact well when there is no institution when there is no crazy regulation involved the community itself has has like a scale i we can and we will be able to define where or which direction the market should be going. That's about the cryptocurrency side. And additionally, let's also touch base on something. Apple hit a trillion dollar market cap. Then Alibaba is going crazy. Amazon hit also a trillion dollar market cap. Google is moving forward on that direction. There are quite a few companies of similar scale. Now my question is, currently the market being around $200 billion, do you personally believe that $200 billion is a crazy big number? While, let's say, ECB is printing money non-stop every month with no, having, well, with no impact at all. Multiple billion dollars are being printed. Nobody is really tracking it, nobody really knows where it goes and it goes just scaling it out and if I, I me being a you know, resident of uh, the EU, all I know is that my, my, let's put that part again, I'm grammar teacher. <laughs> so all I know is that myself living in the EU, my $100 today is going to be buying less tomorrow. So $200 billion or whatever is not a giant number, guys. Currently, let's look into the market. As I said yesterday, if we see a break below 6,800, we will see 6,400. So we have actually been there. 6,400 has been achieved. My, of course, I made both profit and loss yesterday on both sides. My initial projection was a buy level at 6920 and sell was below 6800 so I made a loss of around $180 but at the same time we, we have moved and managed to recover it from the short positions. On either side we again did a loss and a profit. If you were following the analysis yesterday we were talking about selling below 245 so the market is currently at 229 it has gone from much below as well but from the price action perspective I personally believe that the market is oversold we will however I'm gonna be avoiding to talk about targets but nonetheless I'm still convinced that there, there is a bright light ahead of the tunnel or end of the tunnel so if you are the one who is you know going into panic and shorting immediately and, and calling it a crash then you are probably the part of the crash yourself so for the time being I am myself Bitcoin and cryptocurrency optimist 
And more importantly, I'm a realist. We don't need institutionals in order to create a decentralized ecosystem. That's what institutionals want. They want to manipulate the money and capitals and wealth. And I am not here to be manipulated. For the time being, this is Yegu Brahimov from a to zmarkets.com and Seven Markets Group. And please come on, press that subscribe button, press that like button, and share my video with the rest of the people so that we can go ahead and share our own vision and communication with, the, with our communities. Thank you, and I'll see you in my next video.